Hey folks, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot here again. And you know, today I wanted to to try and do a public service. I wanted to to talk about something that that matters. So I thought I'd talk about phobias and fears. Everybody has them. I have them. I like bugs. Oh. I hate bugs so much, especially spiders. I'm so deathly afraid of spiders. What they can do to me, how they can hurt me. Uh, oh, um, hi. Well, this is very awkward. Look who it is. It is Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. I don't care. I hate her too. Or maybe I'm just afraid of her. Okay, folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, by all means, check me out across social media uh, in the links below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Google+, anywhere and everywhere. Check out my first novel, The Everything Factor. Uh, more projects right around the corner. I'll get into those when they happen. This is Deluxe uh, Animated. Uh, Black Arachnia. This exact same mold just recently used by uh, Takara to make an, uh, an updated Black Arachnia with new pinchers that become her chest piece, new head, uh, new colors. Um, and there's been a lot of praise for it and a lot of people like it and understand why this mold was used and say, hey, this isn't a bad mold. I disagree. Um, a little bit. Let's measure her by our usual standards. Paint apps and materials. Let's measure her by posability, playability, and last but not least, transformation. I'm starting her out in bug mode. Um, I will explain why in a few minutes. Um, paint apps. I, I think the paint apps look great. And the truth is, I know that she's the animated Black Arachnia, but if you remember in Beast Wars, Black Arachnia gets reformatted or whatever, and then she, I believe she comes, becomes a maximal, and she gets a purple look to her. And truth is, I, I feel like she fits the bill for that version of Black Arachnia too. You can, you can buy it. You're not going to mistake who this is. There's no doubt about it. Uh, she comes with a, a web thing, um, grapple hook, translucent grapple hook piece uh, and it you know it opens and closes all three of these pieces are independent of each other um, I don't know if that's a worthwhile thing or not this is this is the piece itself it pegs in uh, this hole and there's up under her thorax here there's a a little peg uh, it doesn't tend to stay in that great. It tends to fall out pretty easily, actually, in my, in my personal experience. Uh, you pull it out, you press a button, and it retracts. Um, that's okay, whatever. Uh, then we come here. Um, paint apps look great. The purple is very nice, rich purple. The black looks great. The gold is a bit of a weird gold, but it, it matches. It matches the colors and whatnot pretty great. Um, in bot mode, her paint apps were great, although I did custom uh, uh, custom paint her lips so her paint apps I'm going to give a uh, paint apps I'm going to give an A2 because of the kind of weird gold and the uh, fact that I did add something custom to her uh, materials are pretty good um, you know these are I, I, they're soft plastic but they're still pretty sharp I mean you want to be careful with them um, and they're not that soft these up here are you know much softer plastic. You can see me bending them. They they still have a bit of sharpness to them, but you know they are what they are. The pinchers are not soft plastic. Um, so you know overall uh, overall I'm happy with that. Uh, I even like the placement of the red on her. Here's where I don't like a part of the spider mode. This this thorax piece I can never ever get this to clip in as it should around her head, and I find I fiddle with it a lot and it is a pain but 
posability, ball joints and ball joints and ball joints for the shoulders and the elbows. It makes these legs move great. Ball joints for these and they can move all over the place. Uh, these back two, I mean, they are what they are. The front two also have hinges right here so they can bend in and out. Uh, her legs make the back legs, uh, so you have that knee joint, I guess, there. You have a, a kind of a thigh swivel because of positioning on the ball joint. Um, overall, I mean, you know, she she stands up. It's great. Um, let's go right into transformation, and I'll talk about all three marks after that. Transformation for her. You can bring down the legs first and foremost. You can twist around uh, these legs, the bug legs, and flip out her feet, flip out her feet. Uh, you might want to, to bend these a bit more. You'll notice the weird curvature of how her leg goes. Her arms, they come down to her side, uh, and again, if you want, you can flip these around to expose her hand right here or you could I mean if you want spikes on the back of her hand you can leave them forward but I think you're supposed to to flip these up so that her arms look like this then you should untab this piece that I can never tab in anyway and bring it back and bring her head forward these little pinchers on front are on little ball joints that like to pop off but you twist them like that and you twist them like that and lo and behold they did not pop off on me great when they're in this position you can straighten her body up and these should be able to be easily manipulated to go in around her sides here these legs here go behind her arms and come up Flip her arm around, these go behind her arms and come up and over. You can even take them back behind if you would like and have these over her shoulder for stinging people and bots and everything else. Bring her arms down. And here we have Black Arachnia in robot mode. And just watch. There you go. That's how well she stands. Um, I don't like I don't like the way she stands. So oh and <sighs> This thing, you know, how does she hold it? There is a slot here on her arm. There's a rectangular peg here on this. And it slots into her arm like that. Look how good that weapon looks. Oh, isn't that great? Doesn't that just look fantastic? I think that looks absolutely stupid, so I don't do it. What do I do back here in this thorax part? Where we have the hole right there and the peg up here, I tend to just leave it back there. But you will notice, and you'll notice me doing it now. Huh. And it made a liar on me. Usually that thing is so much harder to go on, it went on easy there. So, again, we can see the, the gold and the purple and the black. I mean, it looks, it looks nice. Uh, if you look at... If you look at the head sculpt, I love the red paint on the eyes. I added the black on the lips, which was a little bit tedious, I'm not going to lie. Um, and you have her head up straight. A very nice gold Decepticon symbol there. I, I think it looks great, even though you have you know, some hollowness just below it. So, paint apps overall for Black Arachnia. I'm going to give an 8. Actually, I'm going to give a 7 because the gold is weird uh, and I did have to do the lips. I'm going to give a 7 to the paint apps. Uh, posability, playability. I already showed posability in bug mode. Here's posability in robot mode. Uh, the shoulders can go all the way around. They can go way out. The elbows bend. Uh, they're on ball joints so they can bend across her body nicely. They can, you know, bend up and down. The problem is it, it, her hands don't move. So either she's gorilla-armed across her body, or if you're going to be out straight, you have to realize that her hand is going to stay in this facing-up position, you know. Please, sir, may I have some more? Um, 
you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. The hips go out about that far. She is not going to be a gymnast. Uh, the legs go forward that far. Uh, they go back all the way. Uh, not so much a thigh swivel as a swivel on... If you look in here, you'll see that it's not so much a ball joint. I, I, maybe it is a ball joint. Uh, but the, the leg is constructed around that, and you get a swivel because of it. The knees, you have a nice 90-degree bend. Uh, this piece here goes forward and back. The toes, they wiggle. And trust me, you need the toes to wiggle in order to get her to stand and hold a pose. The thing is, and of course these move, the head is on a ball joint, can look all the way up and... She can look down, which is beautiful. She can look left and right. Her head is her head articulation is fantastic. I'm really torn with her. I, I love her and I hate her all at the same time. So let's review here. If I can get her to stand. See, see, see how precarious she is. Let's review here. Pain apps, I'm saying a seven. Uh, Transformation, easier back this way, going to bug mode, it's a pain. Transformation, a seven. Actually, transformation, a six. And posability, playability, because of the lack of wrist articulation and her hand stuck in that position, because of the little, little, tiny, tiny, tiny feet. And the weird heel spur that goes with it. And when you're standing here, just the weird position of her leg, I'm going to give that a 7. 6, 7, and 7. Uh, overall, we're going to say she's about a 6.5. Uh, not a stellar figure. Am I going to update her uh, with the new Takara mold? No, I don't need this mold a second time. In terms of being a black arachnia, hey, she works. She does have one thing to her credit, though. She's big. For the Lux class, she is pretty big. And how big? Well... And you've seen this because the Takara version, uh, update version that just came out, came with, uh, you know, an RC and came with a Chromia uh, at the, the same time when they were released. And you can see how much bigger she is than, uh, than Generations RC. She's a beautiful figure, by the way. We will be reviewing her uh, a little bit later. But you can see how she, uh, how she scales. As a matter of fact, if we take a Voyager that a lot of people know, let's go back just a little bit to AOE. Here's how she compares with a, a Voyager. Uh, there's Age of Extinction uh, Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. I mean, she's she's a she's a big gal, uh, big, tall, slender gal, um, who is going to be able to poison you. Overall, can I recommend her? If you don't have a black arachnia, uh, right now this is probably the going mold. Whether you get this version or whether you get the updated version. Don't overspend on her. Don't pay too much for her. I got her from TF Source for uh, about seventeen dollars. Um, I think the Takara one's going rate is around thirty-five dollars. I would not pay that, and that's U.S. dollars, folks. I would not pay that uh, for her at all. If you can still get this mold at uh, either on sale or at a pretty cheap, decent price, hey, go for it. Have a black arachne in your collection to go with, uh, you know, Rat Trap and Rhinox and Dinobot and Cheetor and. Okay, Cheetor, we probably need updated too. At the end of the day, she is what she is. And though she didn't score well, and though I, I hate her, and though I'm kind of afraid of her because she's a spider, she, in her own way, is absolutely, tragically beautiful. Thanks for watching, folks. Until next time.